Well, this isn't rocket science. All I'm trying to do is measure the distance between the deck and the top of my shoe. Well, fantastic, you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you working around the boat with us again. What I'm trying to do is get an approximate height for one of the finishing accessories that we're going to be mounting to our 1966 20-foot Bertram Moppy project boat called the Miss Tracy. What we want to add this time is an accessory called a tow rail. Now whenever anybody ventures out into the forward deck area of the boat, it's a good idea to have some type of a safety net to maybe catch a foot. Maybe somebody needs to deploy an anchor or do a little bit of docking or something like that. In fact, what we're going to be doing today here at ChipShape TV is we're going to be covering the entire gamut of different types of bow rails. For example, on our 1984 Mako 228 project boat, we're going to take a look at the difference between going with a custom aluminum bow rail or possibly going the surplus route. And then on the third rail that we're going to be installing today, we're going to show you a really cool mounting technique called blind fastening to where you can't see any of the mounting hardware used in the installation. But before we get into all this, well, you know the deal. We need to work out a little trade-off. You see, we need to get you to spend the next 30 minutes with us. And then in exchange, with a little help from a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to try again and do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. 